again my grade 10 piano students. This video concludes my presentation and this is the fourth part or four part presentation on how to excel in your grade 10 um, playback. I know you're all overwhelmed that uh, you need to reproduce not only the right hand when judge plays it only three times, but you need to come up with the left hand. So if you watched my three videos and practiced, you're very, very good in recalling uh, left hand's key signature, tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic, through all of the major minor keys up to four sharps and flats. So I trust you can do it very well. But the question is on which note do you change the chord? Well, honestly, by now you should feel, you should have sixth sense about it because you know music, you hear it, you should listen to where it feels it's appropriate to change the chord. If you don't feel anything, there are some rules, of course there are, okay? So if music is written in 4-4 four, four time, then usually the chords will be changed on the first beat and on the third beat. So it's kind of a every half note the chords being changed. For example, um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What if it's six eights? It will be on a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So chord will change on one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 If it's a three, four time, most likely that the, the chord will change only on the downbeat. One, two, three, one, two, three. Basically the same as I just did for six eighths. You can do the same. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and uh, one and two and three and one and two and three and... The same idea. Also two, four, uh, it will change on every first or every one and every two, one and two and one and two, and basically square, it will be changed equal quarters or half notes. But bottom line, you have to listen and you have to feel where that chord change is appropriate, okay? I think you are fully equipped and you have enough information to study and practice and do the best you can on your grade 10 playback. Good luck.